Hey guys, I am here today with something a little bit different. It has nothing to do with card making, but it is something I wanted to share with you. I have a friend up in Illinois whom I love with all my heart and miss her tremendously. She has her own business and in the span of her business, it has been local. She hosts parties for kids. She hosts parties for adults and there's always some sort of craft involved. Well, she's starting to ship her creations. So I'm so excited. I will have her website listed below as well as the kit I purchased below. She had listed this and I, as soon as I saw it, I bought it because she did a little preview of the package saying it was Texas bound on her Facebook page and I shared it to my Facebook page and I had posted, can someone take a guess as to what I purchased? Here's her website, go take a peek. Well, so the people that guessed got it all wrong <laughs> and I said in my description don't let the preview fool you so, so I'm going to go ahead and reveal what it is now this is a DIY kit she sells this would be great for an at-home project with your kids she has various different DIY kits she also sells earrings and signs that are already made that you could purchase to decorate in your home but I got the DIY hummingbird kit so here are all the contents I'm gonna go through it with you and then we're gonna put it together it's really adorable so first you get your directions on how to put it together now I also have a picture up on my computer for reference here are the pieces well let's see it comes with all the paint you need and that's some white paints, I believe. Yes. So it comes with everything you need. You don't have to purchase anything extra. She even sends the plate to put your paint on. So can't get much better than that. Here are the wood pieces to the piece that we're going to put together. And here are the two main pieces. Unfinished. So it's really easy. You just follow the instructions. You have that outline to put your piece on and we're gonna do this whole thing together. So really pretty. All it's gonna do is paint and then assemble. You do get these sponge brushes, quite a bit. You get some super glue and then she just included these hearts in mine as a little bit of confetti and that I think is what threw off some people <laughs> in the uh, little Facebook challenge I had going. So she does have an adorable truck sign like this, a DIY kit, and it has the hearts, really cute. So. All right, so on this sheet, it has what's included in your kit, some steps, and then some tips. So what we're going to do is, the first thing I wanna do is obviously paint. So before I start painting, I want to take out the pieces that are going to be going in my hummingbird and flowers and that are these all right so I think what I'm going to do to kind of make this a little bit easier is I am going to put all the pieces in here that way I know okay these are the leaves these are the flowers these are for the bird so we're going to do that really quick and some of these are small pieces so make sure when you do this um, you don't lose any. Okay, so here are all the pieces put together. Now I can concentrate on what is gonna be painted with each color. Okay, now on the directions it says paint. Obviously we're gonna paint that. The base, the design layout, and the inner pieces. So remove, and then there's a tip, remove pieces from the laid out sign by color. This will help you keep pieces straight. So kind of what we did here and then um, Paint them, allow to dry, apply a second go coat if needed, and then we get to gluing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside first. Since this, 
base is my bigger piece, I want to paint this first. And on the instructions, we have a tip to achieve a more distressed look. Go light, easy on the paint. So we will go ahead and do that. I'll do a light coat first because I do want that distressed look. All right, so I'm going to take my brush and just lightly. I'd rather go in with less paint than too much. All right, so here is the base. Um, it is a very thin coat, so it won't take long to dry. Now let's slide this over. And what I want to do, I'm going to just lift this up. Okay. So the hot pink is this one, this. Since I have my white out, I want to go ahead and paint these white. And these I'm going to go a little bit thicker. I say this is white, this is more of an off-white cream. Okay, for the white, or the cream color, I did about three coats. We're going to let this dry completely, and if I need to go over it again, we will. But we're going to move on to the light pink. We will grab a new sponge brush. Now this is where you want to bring the plate over so you can pour some of the paint onto the plate, and then it's obviously easier for you to dip your brush in. All right. Also, before we do this, if you get paint going over the side, make sure to wipe that up. You could always sand afterwards, but that's just extra work. So while the paint's wet, make sure you um, get rid of that paint that falls from the side, which is, it will because this is a small surface. So it's easy, easy for paint to kind of, and a sponge brush holds a lot of paint. So easy for that paint to kind of seep off to the side. So that's a beautiful color. We're going to set this aside. Now we're going to move to the dark pink. And I'm double checking my picture to make sure one, two, three, four. There are four pieces. These are the four because I do not want to make a mistake. Granted, you can always paint over whatever you mess up if you do. But I'd rather do it right the first time. Grab a new brush. This is nice having a brush for each color because I don't have to worry about going to the sink and washing it. That is a beautiful color and I think one coat will be just fine. We shall see. So we'll pull that aside. Now we have our green pieces, which is three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces, two, all right grab a new brush and the green for this is going to be out of this lighter color this one or the lighter uh, the green set gold green and gold hello can I speak <laughs> it's gonna be this green So these look pretty good as far as only needing one coat. I really like the coverage of these paints. So next is 
this green right here. So let me go ahead and slide this part over here. Let those dry again. They're drying very quickly, which is nice because if you're like me, you want to keep working and not stop and wait because you're impatient. <laughs> okay, so how many pieces for the lighter green or the bluish? It is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Um, and I just realized, I hope I'm painting the right side, side of the piece. If not, then I'll have to go and uh, like that. No, that's not the right one. This one? Okay. Good uh, thinking on my part. Make sure, let me double check, that you're painting the right side so you don't have to repaint it. So this one, there we go. So I had this one wrong. This is the eye. And then where does this go? Right here? Yes. Okay, there we go. I may, Probably knowing my luck, I have painted the wrong side of some of them, but no big deal. We have plenty of paint so we can fix that. So this is gonna be the lighter. Next is the gold. And with that, we have three, six, nine pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, I'm going to make sure all of these are on the right side. Now, when we first put all our pieces into the whole frame and you take them out, obviously, if you're more careful than me, you'll take them out and leave them where they are um, and not grab them and flip them over on your, if you're sectioning them out. But knowing me, I would have, if, that would have dawned on me when I was putting the piece together. So thankfully I thought of it before I was finished. Okay, all these are drying nicely and all of them looks like they will need only one coat. The gold may, may need a second one, maybe not. The white may need another one, and that's just the nature of white paint. So now we are going to do, oops, the frame. So we're going to do this, and for this, we're gonna use the dark green. Now, as you're painting this, be careful of these areas. It is delicate. Of course, when you get the whole piece together, it'll be fine, and then you glue it on the base. But this piece does have some flex, so just be gentle when dealing with this. I am going over, not that it needs multiple layers, but I want it, I have the paint, so why not use it? but I'm hoping that the more layers I add, the darker it gets. Um, I want this really dark, dark green. And I definitely, as you finish up, go to the sides of it and get off any excess. And I'll show you why in here in one second. I'm kind of, there's a glare with my light, so I'm kind of looking from the side, making sure I've covered every spot. I don't want any of the natural wood showing through. Okay, so now the side of it is this really pretty dark color and I don't want any green paint showing. So I mean I have a little here not too big of not too big of a deal but I want to try to get up as much as I can. And again, this paint dries very quickly. So.
All right, that looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna let everything dry. If I need to give more coats, I will. So the next time you see me, we will be assembling all the pieces. All right, so I went ahead and opened my hot glue. Everything is dry, ready to go. And when you open your hot glue, you do have to unscrew it and pierce the top. Make sure, or pierce the, the top of the tube. Make sure that you point it away from you because when I pierced it, a little squirted out. That's typical, um, but just don't have it you're looking at it because it may get on you. So a couple things on putting this together. You could take this piece, you could put all your pieces in, and you could put some painter's tape over it and then add the glue and then take the whole piece, slap it on. I'm going to, because I know myself, I'll probably end up making a big old mess doing it that way. But if you can do it that way, that's the quickest way to put it together. I'm going to put this together or this on the base first. Then I'm going to individually put my pieces in. So I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to add some hot glue. Oh, now the glue comes out fast and a little goes a long way. So just lightly dust a few areas. I'm just going through and putting it on the bigger areas and on all the outline. And I'm working fast so I don't run into any glue drying. Okay. Now I'm going to take this, take my base. I'm going to flip it over and woo, line it up. And I'm kind of work doing the right side first and then moving to the left. Okay. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. So now I'm going to take my pieces. I'm going to start with the leaves. Uh, let's start with the leaves. I'll lay out my pieces where they fit in. And that way when I glue, that's already done. And I don't have to add glue and then I'm searching where they go. All right, so now I'm just kind of pressing down a final press to make sure everything is nice and secure. Um, what I will do is I am going to, once the glue has dried and all that, I'm going to go back with a small paintbrush and I'm going to touch up some areas I got my hot glue, not hot glue, but my super glue on because it dries shiny. So the paint is matte and I don't want those shiny spots coming through so i'm going to take a tiny paintbrush just touch those up hopefully it will cover it up but look how gorgeous this is oh my gosh i love it and what you can do is you can add a little hanging piece or put some twine and hang it but i think it is lovely i'm so happy i got this so if you're interested in that or checking out my friend adrian's shop over at Peppy Posies is what her shop is called. I should have said that in the beginning. Um, definitely head over. And if you do purchase anything, let her know I sent you. She's just a stay-at-home mama 
trying to make it with her business and it's and it's great she has wonderful items and if I was local I probably would be in trouble because I would always be purchasing decorative home items from her so definitely go check her out I will link her shop her Facebook her Instagram all that and if you do head over there please let her know that I sent you so let me know what you think of this of course it's all me because it's a bird and I just love it it's beautiful so thanks for hanging out with me and watching me put this gorgeous sign together and I will catch you guys next time bye